Hi, I'm Lisa Marie. Welcome to my channel, Living My Best Life. I hope you're living your best life too. If you're new here, I invite you to subscribe. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Welcome to day two of Vlogmas 2019. Today is part two of what we started yesterday, talking about different holidays that are celebrated in different parts of the world and by different people. Today we're going to continue on and we're going to talk about Pancha Ganapti. That's celebrated for five days from December 21st to the 25th. This is a Hindu holiday. It's a festival in honor of Lord Ganesha. I don't know if I'm saying that right, so I apologize if I am not. He was the patron of arts and guardian of culture. This holiday started in 1985 by another gentleman whose name I cannot pronounce. I will put it up on the screen though so you can see it. He started this holiday as a Hindu alternative to Christmas. They use colors each day to emphasize an area of focus. For example, on day one, they use yellow. That represents a vibration of harmony and love among family members. On day two, they use blue, which represents a vibration of harmony and love among neighbors, relatives, and close friends. On day three, they use red, and that represents a vibration of harmony and love among business associates, casual merchants, and the public in general. On day four, they use green, which is a vibration of joy and harmony coming from music and dance and drama, the cultural events. And then on day five, they use orange to bring forth love and harmony from everything that they've already celebrated because now they're ready, they've prepared themselves for the full amount of love and harmony. Another big holiday that's celebrated in other parts of the world is Diwali, and that is also a Hindu holiday. It's usually October, November time frame. It's also called Dipawali. It's referred to as the Festival of Lights, and it lasts for five days. It symbolizes the spiritual victory of light over darkness, good over evil, and knowledge over ignorance. And they put up lights and home decorations, and they go shopping, and they have fireworks. There's prayers and gifts and lots of food to eat and sweets too. This is a religious holiday predominantly celebrated by the Hindus, as I mentioned, celebrated by the people that follow Sikhism, Jainism, and Newar Buddhism as well. The next holiday we're gonna talk about is winter solstice. And that's on 1221, which is known as the shortest day of the year and the longest night of the year. This occurs when one of the Earth's poles is tilted the maximum distance from the sun. It happens twice yearly, once in each hemisphere. It marks the lengthening of days and the shortening of nights. This is not a religious holiday, it's cultural. Basically, celebrating the rebirth of the sun in the sky. There are festivals, people spend time with loved ones, they're feasting and singing and dancing and they light big bonfires. The next holiday we're gonna talk about is St. Lucia Day. This is the 13th of December. It's celebrated in Sweden and a few other places. It's the Feast of St. Lucy and it's celebrated during Advent. This particular holiday is observed by Lutherans, Roman Catholics, Anglican Communion, and some other Christian denominations. St. Lucia was a young Christian girl who was martyred and killed for her faith. The next holiday is the Nativity Fast, or some people call it Winter Lent. It starts 40 days leading up to Christmas. It's a period of abstinence and penance, and it's usually practiced by the Orthodox and Catholic churches in preparation for the Nativity of Jesus. The next holiday we're going to talk about is Bodhi Day, which is December 8th. Now this celebrates the day that Buddha became enlightened and basically became Buddha. It's referred to by the Buddhists as the Day of Enlightenment. That's what that means. It's a day of remembrance and celebration and most celebrated where Buddhists live. China, Korea, Japan, and Vietnam. And of course, Buddhists that live all over the world. Now we mentioned Advent just a minute ago, so we'll talk about that one right now. That starts 12-1 and it goes to 12-24 and it is the four Sundays leading up to Christmas. It's a time of expectancy and waiting and preparation as we celebrate the birth of Christ and the return of Jesus, the second coming. It is a religious holiday and it is observed by Christians. There are four candles that represent each of the four weeks of Advent and they're lit each Sunday, as I said, leading up to Christmas. The first candle is purple and it symbolizes hope. It's also known as the prophecy candle. The second candle is also purple and it represents faith and is known as the Bethlehem candle. The third candle is pink and it represents joy and it is also known as the shepherd's candle. The fourth candle is also purple. It's the final week of prayer and penance as we wait to celebrate the birth of Jesus. And that is referred to as the angel's candle. It symbolizes peace and is meant to remind us of the angel's message, which I'm sure you've heard before, which is peace on earth, 
goodwill toward men. The next holiday we're going to talk about is St. Stephen's Day. It's also known as the Feast of Stephen, and that's Stephen with a PH, and that is on December 26th, which happens to also be Boxing Day. St. Stephen was the very first Christian martyr. You may have read about him in the Bible. He was stoned to death. And it is a Christian holiday, but it's not celebrated everywhere. I'll list off a couple of the places where they celebrate it. Austria, the Lyric Islands, Catalonia, Croatia, Czech Republic, Germany, Ireland, Italy, Luxembourg, Macedonia, Montenegro, Negro, Norway, Denmark, Estonia, Sweden, Finland, Romania, Serbia, Slovakia, and Poland. Another fun time that some people celebrate or just know about are the 12 days of Christmas. That's from 1225 until January the 6th. Basically Christmas Day to Epiphany. Some people exchange gifts on these days. And if you know the Christmas song, it depicts what those gifts are supposed to be. And I doubt most of us have those things, so usually there's going to be something symbolic if you do it. Another holiday is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, and that is celebrated on December. 8th. It's centered on the belief that Mary conceived Jesus without any sin, immaculate conception, and a virgin birth. It is considered a holy day, particularly for Catholics who have special church services just to celebrate this. The next holiday I'm going to talk about is called Las Posadas. And that goes from December 16th to the 24th. It's celebrated mostly in Latin America, like Mexico, Guatemala, Cuba, and also by Hispanics all over the world. Las Posadas means the inns, and it represents that there was no room at the inns. When Mary and Joseph, when she was pregnant with baby Jesus, went from inn to inn trying to find lodging. It is observed by the Roman Catholic Church. I have two more, and they're kind of interesting, actually. I'd never heard of these before. The first one is called Human Light, and it's a humanistic holiday on December 23rd. It was started in the year 2001, so it's a pretty new holiday. And it was created to provide a specifically humanistic type of a celebration around the time of the December holidays. What they celebrate is reason, compassion, hope and humanity and it's celebrated wherever humanists are which could be anywhere in the world and the last one which is pretty interesting is called Newton Mass and it's for Sir Isaac Newton and then it has the Mass at the end like Mass for Christmas and this is an atheist holiday and sometimes it's kind of a techno science geek holiday as well a little tongue-in-cheek the skeptic society celebrates this too just a little point of interest there and it's celebrating Sir Isaac Newton's birthday clearly it's not a religious holiday it's just kind of a tongue-in-cheek holiday. A lot of the things they use have an apple on it for Sir Isaac Newton. I just thought that was pretty amusing. I had never heard of it before. Let me know if you'd ever heard of that or the Human Light holiday. I learned a lot just looking for the information for this video. I hope you did too. I look forward to seeing you day three of Vlogmas. Take care. Bye.